So this is how to back up your Postgres databases on Caprover using a script I wrote. Um, I apologize for the video and audio, but hopefully the quality of the content will make up for it. Anyways, here's my Caprover instance. I created this one just for an example using my old GitForks domain. If you're interested in GitForks, I think I made a video about it. You can check it out. Um, it's kind of a janky app, but maybe a little bit useful. Anyways, um, what we're going to be doing is cloning this repo and basically running this script right here. The script does all the backing up, backs up to an S3 instance, and sends a Slack notification um, using the requirements here. And you need to write a config document. You can just copy the example.config.json file to a config file. Um, so anyways, yeah, here we go. First, we will SSH into our server. And now I have a user. I already created this user. Um, the important things here are the user is uh, has a home directory. Actually, this isn't entirely important, but it is part of the config file. Um, and the user needs to have access to the Docker group. You also might want to give your user pseudo access because that just makes things easier, but I don't think it's necessary. I could be wrong. Um, so I made mine called Christopher. Um, I have a home directory, and then in this home directory, I'm going to clone this repo. So we will use HTTPS. I'll say git clone. Now, I also already have installed Python 3 and pip3, which is what we'll need for this. Um, so cd pg capup.git. I don't know if it works with, oops, cd pg capup. Um, okay, so here are all the files we have. Um, I already wrote a config file, uh, but well, let's see. Vim example. So basically, in this file, you'll just put in the different um, parameters you have. Right now, it only works with the script. Only works with S3. You can have as many S3 locations as you want. Um, I'm using Backblaze for this example, and you put in whichever databases you want backed up here, and then you reference the locations by the name. So right here, the name Backblaze corresponds with this back place, which means that it will back up to this location. Um, Google Cloud Storage, uh, we can, I guess, well, I already have a config file and it's deleted in there. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to show you my S3 config and whatnot. So I'm showing you the example, but the actual config file you're not going to see. Um, so we're going to copy the file from my home directory, and now I should have a config file here. Perfect. Um, so now we need to install all of our requirements. Again, I already installed Python 3 and pip. Um, so we go pip3 version. You want to make sure your pip3 version uh, corresponds with Python 3. Point, or 3. It doesn't have to be 3.6, just a version of Python 3. So we'll say pip3 install dash r requirements. I can't spell that. Txt. And then this should collect everything we need. And then at this point, um, uh, cat pip3 install python date util. Okay, I don't know why the requirements file didn't work, so I'm just going to install it. I'm just going to install everything this way, and we're we're just going to make do with it. So now I have all of my requirements installed. I created my config file, so I should hypothetically be able to run Python three um, pg capup dot pi. Version, pip3 version, pip3 install photo 3. Oh, perfect. Okay. So I just didn't install photo 3 correctly. I don't know what's going on with the requirements. You might just have to download them manually, like I did. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, I tried to 
back of a database. I'm, so, okay, creating a backup of this database. Um, the role does not exist. Let me just see what the, I have to update my config here. Strap B, Strap B, and PG, okay. Um, I'm gonna switch this real quick so you can't see what I'm, my config file. And right now I'm just updating my parameters. is strap B, just name is strap B. Okay, so now if I run Python 3 pg capo dot pi, everything should work. Creating back, uploading backup. Okay, so my backup would now be in Backblaze. And if I check my Slack messages, which again, I'm gonna hide just in case. Um, I don't know if I want to be showing this or not, we'll see. This is being slow. Okay, I don't know why it's taking so long. Um, I'm just going to assume it's sent uh, live. Let's see if it loaded, not yet. Um, okay, so anyways, you can kind of see here, um, basically the first thing it does is it backs up. Let me actually walk through the script. I think that'll be the most enlightening thing. Enlightening thing. So Vim, um, I just realized now, and I'm not going to go back and fix this, so we're just kind of stuck with this, that I did not increase this text size. So this video is not the best quality, but it does show you what you can do. I might go back and make it later anyways. Yeah, okay. Um, so importing our required modules, broking our config file, uh, parsing our config file. Um, then I have this function to Send a Slack notification, function to back up the database, function to upload the database, backup, um, we'll help her for that. And then, okay, so for each database and databases, which is, or in the config databases, which is the config file, we're gonna back up the database, and then for each location in the, the database locations, we will upload the file. So it is really simple. This backup DB is a PG backup, or PG dump, um, and then uploading the file is literally just uploading the file from the PG dump. So that's how the script works. Um, I'm hoping, this is this is ultimately my hope, is that someone who's smarter than I and might have other considerations or just more minds in general would take a look at the script and we can optimize it. I would like to add other databases and other backup places besides S3 compatible backups. Um, but anyways, yeah, I realize this video is not the best um, in terms of quality and whatnot, but hopefully it was useful and hopefully specifically the tool is useful. Ultimately, that's really what I care about. Um, so this is the way you can back up your databases, uh, your Postgres databases, and I hope this tool grows a little bit. Um, just it would it would be nice to have um, other eyes looking at it. Really, just that would that would give me uh, a piece, a little bit of peace of mind, I guess, using it. Um, I feel like I should record this video again. <laughs> nah, we're just gonna post it. <laughs>